So what they want to know is what are your chances of winning a blackjack? <clears throat> so you have four aces. And you have 52 cards. And you have sixteen ten point cards. Ugh, if I can draw today, it would be helpful. So, so this is number forty three. Oddly enough, I just did the same kind of questions with the uh, engineering class I teach. So, so you have four aces. You have 16 10 point cards. Why am I, oh, stop dragging. Like, seriously, stop dragging. I'm not doing cursive. You have 52 cards in a deck. And you're drawing one twice. So this is doing something called combinations <clears throat> what you had to do is find out how many total number of combinations have one ace in them. Then you have to find the total number of combinations for the entire deck and you divide them. And that one will give you your percent, your percent, uh, your probability of one ace. So we have a formula for this. So it's N C R or C N R, or we sometimes do N R like that. Those are all ways it can be expressed. So the formula is N permutation, R permea or permeation, and N minus R permeations. So what this guy is over here, the exclamation point, is I do all numbers, if I could spell. I'm just gonna do text because this is not like me today. So all numbers before that number times each other. So what that means, if I have six permeation, that is one times two times three times four times five times six. So that is what I'm doing. <clears throat> so
So when I have these two events, I can do, I, in order to find the probability of getting a, a blackjack, I would have to take the probability of one ace times the probability of one 10 pointer. So this is how I find the probability of one ace. So the combinations contain one ace over the total combinations. And so, so that's what I'm doing first. The combinations of one ace divided by the combinations total. Then I'd multiply that by combinations of one 10 point over the combinations total. So this looks like So we have 52 cards. So, uh, oh, on this. N, <clears throat> so we have two different parts of this. And let me get the book to make sure I get this 100% right. Combinations one seventy. So N is a different number of uh, items available. And then R come on. Select. So R is equal to uh, how many you're selecting? So in this case, we have four aces. So we have four available. Four were uh, combinations and we're selecting one out of those. In the bottom, we have 52 cards available and we're selecting two. So what we're looking at is the number of times we could possibly draw an ace when you draw two cards. And this is all, so on this, we would use this formula right here in order to uh, find these numbers out. So we would set this up as four factorial over one factorial four minus one factorial. So this is four C one. So we can, you could use a calculator for this. Um, yeah, if, the other one that you're looking at is permeations, and I can write that out real quick. Sorry, I didn't get that. So permeations is equal to uh, n factorial divided by r factorial. So there's something similar. 
it's just slightly different and does something different. Um, so from here, we can rewrite this out as one times two times three times four divided by one times, that'd be four minus one is three. So one times two times three. So from here, we can go ahead and cancel things out. So three, two, one, three, two, one. <clears throat> so there's a total of four different ways I can get an ace. We have four aces, right? <clears throat> and this is then put over what 52 choose two would be. So 52 C1, I'm oh, sorry, C2. So this is equal to 52 permeation, or sorry, factorial. Uh, then we do two factorial, 52 minus two factorial. Which can be rewritten as, so since I have 50 factorial and 51 times 52, I can write this as 50 factorial times 51 times 52. Make your life easier. Over two factorial, 50 factorial. Then this will cancel out. This is one times two is two. So I can take this and take this divided by two, that's 26. So 51 times 26, let me get a calculator. I have one up. 51 times 26 is 1,326. So that means there are 1,326 different possible combinations of hands in blackjack. And four of them will have an ace. So the probability of pulling an ace is the so four, 13, 26, which is, uh, so uh, four divided by 1326, 0 0.003%. So 0 0.003%, I'm sorry, 0.3% of all hands will have an ace in them. So that's the chances of pulling an ace. From here, so this is the ace. I think. Am I doing this right? I'm gonna make sure I get this right. That does not seem right. Just don't. Am I doing? I'm overthinking this, aren't I? I'm overthinking this so hard. So never mind all this. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure what they want. Let me double check. Or divide by times by 
Let's see what I want. Two, one. Now I'm waiting for. Oh, it is. Oh, I'm doing it right. Okay. So I'm doing it the right way. <clears throat> Sorry, this is, these are always so annoying. Second, what that occurs, two ways. So this is correct. And then the next one we do is where we take 10, sorry, 16, 16, choose one over 52, choose two. So the bottom one we have the answer to at 1326. So 16, choose one is gonna be equal to 16 factorial divided by One factorial, 15 factorial. So there should be, so 16 factorial divided by 15 factorial would be equal to 15 factorial times 16 over 15 factorial. So there should be 16 hands that get exactly one 10 point card. So from there, we should do, once again, 16 divided by 1326. would be 0 0.012066. Or what we could do is just keep everything as fractions. So we had four times 16 over 1326. Before, uh, that's what you need to do this way. which would give us four times 16 is 64 over 1326 times 1326, 1,758,276. So if that's divided by 64, is not. Times 64 divided by 32, nope. Divided by 16, nope. Divided by four, yeah. So I could divide both of those top and bottom by four. So 64 divided by four is one. 24 divided by four is eight. Oh. Six, rather. And then 1,700 or 1.75 million is uh, divided by four is 439,569. So you can put that in as your fraction. That should be your probability. And let me check of getting a blackjack. 16 divided by 439569. 
And of course it's not. How did they get that? Oh, I did bad math. That's how they got that. Yeah. So instead of doing it, multiplying these together is actually supposed to be select. 1326. So I did bad math. We'll save you the trouble. Then this will simplify down to 663. So 16 out of 663 hands will be correct. So figuring out how many, sorry, 32, not 16. So to figure out how the percentage, you just take them divided by each other. 32 divided by 663. So 4.8%, uh, 83 should be your percentage of people who get a blackjack. So that was a long, annoying way to doing that. Are there any other questions? No, you did not actually multiply at the end for some reason, unless I have the number big enough, because um, it had 663. You should have multiplied. What's the square root of 663? That makes no sense. You multiplied the end results. This is how I got the, I mean, the answer is correct on there. But it should make it shouldn't be, I and mean, that's bothering me. This should be one over eighty eighty-seven to do what am I at? Eighty-two point eight seven five. And that be times one over so thirteen twenty six divided by four being thirty one point five. So they have a, a completely different number here than I did, and they are getting that. Am I missing something? Oh, I know what I'm missing and why it's wrong. When we're assuming that the first card you pull is going to be an ace, which, or 10 point. We're assuming the first card we pull is going to be out of a 52 card deck. So what I did wrong 
is right there. Instead of a 52, this is supposed to be a 51, which would give us a completely different number here and make this significantly smaller. So 51, choose one, or sorry, choose two. Instead of being 1326 would be, uh, so we'd have 51 over 49. So we would have da, 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 da. 49 times 50 over two. So 25 times 49, 1225. So that's what happened is I messed up here. This is supposed to be 52 choose one or 51 choose two. I'm oh, sorry, choose one. I'm only choosing one. I really got that wrong. So that's 50 over one. <clears throat> because you're only choosing one card. So it's not choose two, it's choose one, and you have a deck of 51. So this would be, let me go do the entire thing. This is, by the way, why you use a calculator, because these can get annoying. And if you make a simple mistake, It's easier to fix. So that would mean we have text 51, possible combinations, which means we would have here 16 over 51. I can do all this and that. So we still have, so 1326 times, 1326 times 51, uh, so 64, or 67, 626. That's still the same different number. I wonder, 52 times 51, so 64, 32, I'm off by a factor of 10. So this is the answer. The 32 divided by 60, 63 is the correct answer. Um, and I'm not entirely sure why. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna look this up in a little bit when I'm not here with you guys and record an actual sane answer, a little bit more organized than this, and then give it to you. I'll also do it in uh, Excel. So if anybody wants to use Excel for this, because I don't know why it's doing this. Is it shouldn't. Anywho, um, anybody have other questions? I'm not going to bother saving this because this is kind of a hot mess. And I, this is probably my least favorite of everything in statistics is combinations and permeations. So it's not just you guys who doesn't like these. That's how fourth does anyone else have any other problems other than that? 
Так. Two cards can be in any order of how many cards are. So anyone else have anything else? Let me see what other questions we have. This is all combination permeations. Uh, and then sub drawing. Mm -hmm. uh, the lotto question. Does anyone, does anyone get to go through the lotto question yet or no? Okay, so this is both has a help me solve it as well as being useful because it's one of the annoying questions. Which we need to get a little bit bigger. So on this, so let's actually use a real life problem. So the Powerball. Uh, so the Powerball. is up to a stupid amount of money. So you have numbers from one to 69. So you have to choose five numbers from one to 69. <clears throat> and then from there, um, you have another number that's from one to 26. Those the, I think are the current Powerball odds. Let me see. That's from powerball.com, so yeah. But that is the chance, or that's how many numbers you have and how many you have to select in order to get this. So you have to win basically both drawings in order to do that. Mm. So to do this, you have something called the probability of A and B. To find this, you have to find the probability of event A. So, and then you multiply by the probability of B given that you got A correct. <clears throat> so you can get probably you can get the Powerball number, you can get the other one. They they're not tied together, they're, they're not the same numbers, they're different color numbers, and they're not even the same thing. Um, so because of that, this is not the probability of B given A, although you do need to win A to get it but you can just follow up, figure it out by the probability of getting that number. So to win the lottery, you have to ha find the probability of winning A and the probability of winning B and multiply them. So we had to find first the probability of winning drawing one. So in this case, um, order doesn't matter. So because order doesn't matter, we use combinations. So we will use NCR. So 
Our n is the number of balls we have. And our r is how many we select. So in this case, we're doing 69C5. So we set this up as uh, 69 factorial over 69 minus 5 factorial, 5 factorial. Which would give us 64 factorial times 65 times 66 times 67, 68 times 69 over 64 factorial times two times three times four times five. I dropped the one because one times anything is itself. And then I drew everything else out so that I can try and cancel as much as I possibly can. Because you can do these by hand with a little bit of work. So the first things that drop out are the factorials. Uh, five and 65, so that would be 13. Uh, four and 68, so 68 divided by four, 17. 66 and three. So 22. And 22 and two, eleven. So you do 13 times 11 times 67 times 17 times 69, which would give us where's my calculator? 13 times 11 times 67 times 17 times 69. 11 million 238,513 different possible combinations. of drawing those numbers. Let me do this. Let me go over here to make sure I have everything I'm doing right. So from here, um, the probability of drawing all five of those numbers would be one divided by 11,238,513. Not the greatest. And that's the first event. From here, we have to do the second event. So in this case, we're doing, um, we have 26 when we're choosing one. So we have 26 factorial over 25 factorial, one factorial. which would give us, let me write the vision sign. Twenty six. And since you can only pick one ball, our chance of getting that is one divided by twenty six. So this is probability of A. This is the probability of B. And you take these two and multiply them. Three 
a power three times one over 26. So then you multiply those two out. More text. So we have one over. Hello, two, three, eight, five, one, three times twenty six. Two hundred and ninety two million, two hundred and one thousand, three hundred thirty eight. So your chances of winning the Powerball are <clears throat> three point, I'm sorry, uh, zero point, I'll just do it this way, 3.422, times 10 to the negative seventh. That's your chances of winning probability uh, Powerball. So have fun with that. So that's how you do these probabilities, um, which may mean I think I've figured out how I did the other one wrong. Let me check. So if we do to see. Should be four divided by four. And then 16 divided by 52. Oh, so I think I did what I did wrong in there is actually, no, that would be the same thing. Oh, no, I will. So I'll work on that one later and get the correct answer up for you 100%. <clears throat> so that's how you figure out the lottery the chances of it or lack thereof, um, which are some of the questions I have in here. Any other questions that you have over the permeation or the combination nonsense? Well, if that's what people have, um, like I said, I'm going to work on the uh, the blackjack one. Um, I'll see if I can get it and do a quick little video on how to do it. Um, if not, did not mean to do that one. I will go ahead and stop recording. <clears throat>